All right, guys, we're back at the pool area of the Paris. You might've noticed I didn't make a vlog yesterday. So I'll give you guys the rundown of what happened yesterday, what I was up to, why I didn't make a vlog, etc., etc. So by the way, guys, it's a uh, hundred and seventeen degrees out right now. Can you believe that? A hundred and seventeen degrees outside right now, what? which is absolutely insane. I think it's a. Uh, I read that this is the record for like even Las Vegas. It's like five days in a row above one hundred fifteen degrees. So it's like the hottest, the hottest situation on Earth right now. So I hope my phone doesn't die. I'll try to record this fairly quick in the morning. I woke up probably like 10, 10.30. I got ready really quick and I went over to the Wynn to meet Fonzie and Chris for a breakfast. We had a breakfast at a place called Jardin and it's, it's fantastic. It's the second time I've been there in this trip. It's really, really, really good. Beautiful atmosphere. It's like right by the, uh, the pool area and close to the poker room. So that was, that was really fun. It was really good. And then right after that, we entered into the $2,200 win tournament. And all three of us played it. It started off so good, guys. It started off so good. So I have King Queen off in middle position. And I open early stages of, of, of the tournament. So I think it was like, yeah, the big blind was like 400 or something. So I open, cut off flats, button flats and big blind flats flop comes jack nine four two spades so i check i don't have a spade in my hand i check and cut off checks button bets about half pot and i call and the cutoff calls turn is the best card we could have imagined it's the ten of clubs guys the, you know you can't get better than that we have the nuts uh, I check, cut off checks, button bets again, about like 60, 70% this time. And over here, over here, I'm deciding like, should I raise or should I just flat? I decide to flat because the guy behind me is a fish in the cutoff and he might flat behind too. I want to get his money in as well. So I call and sure enough, he does call from uh, the cutoff right behind us. So, which is great. River comes just a br brick three. I check again, cut off checks, button goes all in. Music to my ears, guys, music to my ears. So I time down and make the call because I want the cutoff to, to make a call too. So I time down, I time down, I make a call. The cutoff ends up folding and uh, the uh, the guy in the button that bluffed had king four of spades. So the flop was jack nine four, turn was a 10 and the river was a brick three. So he turned his pair of fours into a bluff and he had a, he had a flush draw the, you know, on the flop and turn. Interesting play, yeah. I mean, he could have he got me off some big hands there. So I kind of like his bluff. It's kind of cool, I think. But yeah, we, we, uh, we doubled up in that situation. And then we got into an amazing situation where we had ace queen off from middle position. We open small blind flats. Again, I don't remember the exact big blind because these hands happened like 24 hours ago. So I raise small blind flats, big blind, three bets. I call, small blind calls as well. I have ace queen off. So flop comes king jack 10. The beauty of this flop, guys. King jack 10. I think there was two clubs on the flop, but it didn't matter. Nobody had a flush draw anyway. So came king jack 10. The guy who three bet in the big blind bets. I flat. And then the guy in the small blind raises And then the guy in the big blind goes all in. And then obviously I call the all in. I have the nuts. And then the other guy in the small blind calls too. So all three of us are all in here. The guy in the small blind had king jack. It was, the board was king jack 10. And the guy in the big blind had pocket jacks. So. I can't even, I can only hit a 10 too. I can't even hit a king. I can't hit a king. You win, right? King hit, king win. That's it. I got only 10 runner up. 5-5. Right. Five, five. Five, five. Next hand punch. 
and we had ace queen the nuts and uh so we held there and we were up from we were up to 110,000 chips very early in the tournament from starting stack of 30,000 we're already up to 110 so which is fantastic i was feeling amazing all right guys we found some shade the video cut off there because my iphone got so hot that it said it like a black screen came up and said temperature your iphone has to cool down before you can use it again that's the second time this happened while i'm at paris which is crazy you know the temperature just like is so hot that the phone just kind of shuts down so anyways i got to 110k after that pot i was like how, like from starting stack 30 i was like how are they gonna take these chips from me like i'm gonna go deep in this tournament for sure famous last words then i just started losing a lot of pots i made a, a questionable bluff i lost a couple other pots and then next thing you know it i was down to like you know 50 or 60k in chips from 110 because the blinds go up fairly fast 40 minute levels are you know they're not bad but they're not fantastic either right so the blinds go fast and then basically i just lost a couple of crucial flips like very crucial flips and i always say this in live mtts like in any given tournament it's like 20 percent skill 80 percent luck kind of thing like if you if you don't win those flips when they matter when the blinds go up and like you get it in for big money i got an ace king versus tens ace king offsuit versus tens we lost for a decent portion of chips and then we got in ace queen suited versus pocket jacks and we lost that one too and then we were short from there and then the bust down hand was just kind of a weird spot i won't get too too deep into it but yeah we uh we busted out and lost at like 9 p.m i want to say and then i went to the lobby bar to meet up with fonzie who had already busted and we had some dinner well he didn't have anything to eat but i had some little beef sliders and uh some tuna tartare pretty good and then chris bushman busted and he met us at the lobby bar we were hanging out at the lobby bar for like for a while uh i want to say from nine to like 1 30 in the morning you know they were they were drinking old fashions i was having my waters as usual i don't drink guys so yeah, we're hanging out until, until like one, just like talking about poker and talking about life. It was really, really fun time. Like it was fantastic, actually. We went back to the horseshoe. My brother was there with some friends playing some uh, playing some blackjack. So we wanted to hang out with him for a little while. And then I ended up going to sleep at like 3.30. It was really late. Just time flies when you're in the casino and like you're just talking to friends and stuff. It's kind of crazy. So yeah, and I went to sleep and I woke up. I forced myself up today at 11.30. Uh, so I can get up and get some breakfast at x -Lut, which I had this morning. And then uh, I came to the pool. And that's basically all I've done today. I mean, just those two things. I was considering, you know, I'm considering playing the uh, $3,000 tournament tomorrow. It's tomorrow and Friday, uh, day ones. And it can go five days if you, if you, uh, if you win the thing, which would be great, you know, <laughs> that would be fantastic excellent structure it's kind of like a mini main event uh i heard this is a new event they didn't have last year the only difference is it's it's kind of like a miniature main event yeah it's like three three thousand uh three thousand buy-in and then 60 minute levels which is really really good right so but the only thing is there is one re-entry per flight and there's two day ones thursday and friday so it's you know it's not going to be as great as the main event obviously you know i wish i was still in the main event that was the best tournament i've ever played in my life ever uh and i'll definitely play that thing again next year and the year after and stuff like that but uh i was like sweating my eyes it's burning yeah i'm gonna extend my stay i'm gonna play that 3k tomorrow fonzie will play that too bush off will play that so we got a few guys in there and it should be a really really good tournament and hopefully i don't bust you know hopefully i don't bust if i do i'll probably rebuy on friday uh hopefully 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 we go deep in this one you know so far on the trip we're down twenty four thousand nine hundred dollars and that's only me that's not including everyone else with breaking everything uh, for team 651 on this trip so it's been uh, it's been a rough trip you know it's it's not it's not been great but it, it's crazy because like every night i feel kind of down about the trip i'm like ah this kind of sucks but then every every morning i'm so optimistic 
you know, I'm just like, oh, there's another tournament. I'm ready to, I'm ready to fire another tournament. I feel so good. Put some chips in front of me and let's, let's go, you know? So you got to keep that mindset when it comes to live poker. I mean, the short-term variance is ridiculous, right? If you don't win those crucial flips, you're, you're in trouble. You got to play your best. So you got to play really, really, really good and win the crucial flips, win the crucial 70-30s or even sometimes the 30-70s. So you got to take those spots, you know, to, to, to win in the short term, you know. So I feel good about everything I played. Like I said, I've been playing only in really good tournaments. But for next year, I'll have a more detailed, structured plan on which tournaments I'm going to play, which tournaments I'm not going to play, which days I'm going to take off. Probably take like one day off per week kind of thing. Maybe I'll come out here twice next year for like 10 days each time, like 10 days in the beginning of the summer and then go back home and then come back another 10-ish days for the main event. Something like that, I think would make a lot of sense. So that's what I'm thinking for next year and I'll plan it better. You know, this, this one's just super last minute. I'm just like, I'm gonna play anything that seems high value, I'm just gonna blast, which is fine to be honest, but I like I personally like more of a routine structured kind of approach like I do with online poker. So yeah, good luck us to in the 3K tomorrow and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna have a dinner tonight with uh, Fonzie and Chris. I don't we haven't decided where yet, but we'll have some dinner from somewhere. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's the Bellagio uh, fountains that you can hear from here. It's like blasting off. So I'm gonna have a dinner with Chris and Fonzie in a few hours. And then I'm gonna try to sleep extremely early tonight. I'm gonna try to be in bed by like 11 or something because this tournament starts at 10. And you know, I don't like re late registering. I hate late registering for live events. All the, like the biggest value is the early parts of the tournament when all the whales are in and they're dusting off their stacks for way too many big blinds. So I'm gonna try to get there at 10. I mean, it's a bit of a stretch. Uh, it is in the Paris. So I should, I, like, I should be able to just waltz downstairs and play, but I don't know. I don't know guys. Uh, at the latest, I'll probably get there at 11 or something. And I'll try to get there at 10. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. If there's anything interesting going on tonight, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, uh, we'll vlog tomorrow. All right, take care, guys.